Hello and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. Previously, I have done some videos where I talked about the Old Farmer's Almanac. Well, since that time, I have had other requests from people that have asked for more in-depth exploration of the Farmer's Almanac. Uh, sometimes it's because it uh, they, they're not sure how to interpret it and they just want to know more about how to make it a useful tool for their homestead or their home. So today we're going to be talking about the Farmer's Almanac and we're going to do it in a series because if we tried to cover the entire Almanac all at once, it would be a, a very long video and kind of overwhelming. So we are going to take it in pieces but today, let's just introduce you to the portions of what is in the almanac that we're going to be talking about throughout these various videos. The first section of the Old Farmer's Almanac that we will talk about will be the calendar pages. Now, the calendar pages are broken down uh, in the 2023 edition. They have the calendar pages right in the center of the book, clearly marked, and it goes by, uh, of course, the month. Then vertically down the page, they have each day listed and out to the side for each one of those days they have information listed there that could be everything from important events to uh, astronomical things that may be happening and various points of interest for each one of those days so it the calendar pages are very helpful in planning any activities that you may have coming up, as in our celestial event that'll be happening in 2024 that um, I know a lot of people are waiting for. That will be covered in the 2024 Old Farmer's Almanac that I am waiting to get my copy of. But for each one of those months, it breaks each day down to help you plan events throughout the year. All right, number two in the series will be weather predictions. Now, the Old Farmer's Almanac, some people just kind of, you know, poo-poo it off as, well, it's not that accurate. Well, no weather forecast is 100% accurate other than I can tell you right now the sun's shining and it's nice and cool out here on the porch and there's a light breeze, but... 30 minutes from now, who knows? So that is the most accurate weather forecast that I can give. But the Old Farmer's Almanac has weather pages in it that breaks it down by region. And depending on what region you are in, it will give you long-term forecasts of what is expected based on historical data for your area. While not 100% accurate, it is very interesting and it is always, um, I always find it um, fun to look forward to what may be to come. A part of the Old Farmer's Almanac that I find very helpful and is the most used on our homestead is the gardening and agricultural sections. It covers everything on what you should plant, when you should plant it, when you should harvest it, uh, lunar phases that are the best for planting in your area. It covers gestational periods for your various uh, farm animals and it uh, it goes has a lot of articles sometimes that uh, cover things for green thumbs as in the 2023 there's a section in there that talks about herbs uh, when to plant your herbs and uh, 
again, I find it very helpful because there are a lot of things that I just, maybe I can't remember off the top of my head. I can flip through the pages and find what I need. And that's another one of the sections that we will be talking about during our video series. Another section that you find information throughout the Old Farmer's Almanac are involving constellations uh, and the importance of how those affect everything from our gardening to even cutting your hair, the best time to butcher a hog, and all sorts of information are contained within the pages. And not only that, but if you are like me, and you are interested in meteor showers and when the next solar eclipse is going to be, it'll all be contained within the pages of the almanac. The next section that we will cover, even though I have previously put a video on, on this subject, is we're going to look more at fishing using the almanac. We'll talk a little bit more about that and maybe even get a chance to do some fishing, but we'll see because it's going to depend a lot on what the weather is doing because it is September and we never know what our weather is going to kick up about this time of the year, but the almanac and the fishing guides are definitely a subject that I will be covering more extensively. And finally, the last one that we will be covering will be the special features that the Almanac is packed with. It is everything from recipes to folklore to just um, interesting stories that you may find useful uh, in your journey, whether you're homesteading or only dreaming of it. So there you have it. There is an overview of what we will be covering in this Almanac series. So if you have not yet went out and bought your Farmer's Almanac, please do so because that way you can kind of follow along with us as we take this journey through the Almanac. If you are looking forward to this series, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and you want to be notified of the future videos for this Almanac series, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you anything. And that way we will be seeing you again real soon. I look forward to you coming back. Love y'all. Mountain Patriot Homestead signing out. Mm -hmm.